So far, our products sold by department report has organized and grouped the records that were gathered by our product sold query. We can also add some statistical information about each group right inside the report. This will give you some quick grand total figures that can help in understanding the data and making comparisons across departments. I'm going to double click on the product sold by department report in order to open it up and take a look at where we're at. Right now, our products are sorted by department and then category. Let's switch our view into layout to add some summary statistics about each category. I'm going to click on this total sold here and go up to the ribbon. Now if your group and sort window is still open from the previous movie, you can go ahead and close it. Then I'm going to press totals and sum. That'll add a new row down here that will sum up the total dollar value within this category. As I scroll down, I've got another category down here, the textiles category, and there's a sum total for that category. Then I have a sum total for the entire department here. Now these might be a little bit small, so we can go ahead and adjust their size by dragging them open a little bit more. I'll drag this one as well to make them bigger so that there's more room to display that data. Now we'll do the same thing for this total number sold. I'll click on one of the values, go up to totals, and say sum. That'll add the sum total of the total number of products within this category. Let's do one more. I'll click on one of the products, go up to totals. Now notice that since this isn't a numerical value, I can't add them together or find their average, for instance. But I can count how many there are. I'll choose count records. That'll add a count of how many records we have within this category. Now at any time, we can go back to group and sort and rearrange our departments and categories. For instance, if I don't need this granular level of detail, I can get rid of the category and just take a look at everything by department to find the overall in the entire department. Let's go ahead and click on category. I'll press the close button over here to get rid of the category group. Access will tell me that we're about to delete some calculated fields, but that's okay. Go ahead and say yes. Now our report is just sorting by the department. And I can see within this bath department that our bamboo shower curtain is by far our most profitable product. Let's make one more change here, and then we'll take a look at what this report is looking like in print preview. I'm going to turn off our group and sort now, and I'm going to get rid of all these boxes again. I'll select in this box right up here. And if you don't see it, go ahead and just select one of the fields, and that should show up. Click on that box to select all of the cells within that report. And I'm going to go to the Format tab, Shape Outline, and say Transparent to get rid of all the boxes around each cell. Then I'll go to the Design tab and change my view to Print Preview. Now I can see the Print Preview of my report. I've got the total number of products within each department. I've got the total number sold in each department. And I've got the total dollar value for each department. Now you might notice that these numbers aren't formatted as dollar values. We can fix that up in Layout View. I'll close Print Preview, click on one of those cells, and go to the Format tab and change it to a dollar value. There we go. That looks better. So there's our finished product sold report. I'm going to go ahead and save it by pressing the Save icon on the Quick Access Toolbar. By grouping the records together and calculating summary statistics across the groups, you enhance the value of the report by providing additional aggregation information at each change in category or department. This allows you to more easily compare data across departments and get a bigger picture of what's going on in the organization.